Good morning. It is a nice, cloudy, cool morning this morning. I'm excited to work on my trees. I've got several we're going to work on today. Um, really quick, I wanted to show you. I have started working on my own cut paste. Um, this is what you get from the store. It's about $17 or $18 a piece. I don't have any weights on these. I don't have a little scale, but I've got a small size that weighs about the same as this, and then a large one that is significantly bigger. I'm thinking... Um, pricing these cheaper than this one I will put a link in my description to my website I'll have them up for sale if you want some um, it works pretty much exactly the same as any of the other it may be slightly um, easier to roll out because it's not quite as sticky on your hands anyway let's go work on some trees all right the first part of today is going to be pomegranate day. Um, I've had someone approach me um, asking to buy a uh, pomegranate. I think we talked on Instagram or something. And uh, I hadn't worked any pomegranates, being that it's still, it is still early. Um, and we actually have, I think a cold snap coming through next week. But I'm gonna work a few and see what, uh, what they look like, I guess, and what we, we think the fair value would be for them. Um, the one I'm digging at right now is an air layer. Uh, I air layered it last, I believe I air layered it last year. And then I air layered the top off of this tree. And it's sitting over there, we're probably going to dig it too. So I'm going to dig this one. We're going to see what it looks like. I had a, an idea for it whenever I, I had the second air layer, but we're going to see if it worked out. And these are going to be, the way that I work the roots is going to be different uh, because for these I believe that the um, a little bit of uh, non-conforming root uh, is better suited for this kind of tree. So I'm going to dig it really quickly, um, take it to the greenhouse, and then we will uh, get a good look at it. It doesn't look like much right now, but hopefully it looks like what I'd imagined when uh, I let everything uh, when I planted it, I guess. Interestingly enough, um, one of the other pomegranates I planted and dug up from the spot had a root that had embedded in the ground and it grew uh, here. So I guess it's a free tree. There's one in the back right here as well i'll try to zoom in on that once this one's out of the way because that one's really neat looking and actually if it lives um and grows like that i'll be kind of impressed on this probably grew straight down which is actually good because I want to raise this out of the ground a little bit anyway so here I'm just I'm dug a square around and now I'm trying to kind of gently go at an angle downwards to get up under the tree. Normally don't really have to do this with the ones that I plant on boards or whatever but with one like this that I just planted and let the roots go I definitely need to try to get up under it and get all the roots that were probably growing straight down. Take a look at this. Let me just make it a lot closer. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Right here. 
this was a root that it was left over when I dug another pomegranate and it decided that it wanted to be a tree and so it's kind of grown this year and I figured I'd let it go because um, pomegranates get really quirky and really interesting really quickly when you let them grow freely so um, all right we're gonna move into the greenhouse and we're gonna take a look at this one and see what it looks like I'm not gonna bare root this in the traditional way I'm not just gonna hose it off I'm gonna use um, a root hook and a root rake to clear it out a little bit I know these roots are gonna be wacky and crossing and weird but that is kind of what I like for pomegranates especially this twisted twisted variety that seems to um, really just uh, I don't know the trunk gains a lot of character in a hurry so what you look at with these in my opinion anyway is not so much the thickness um, but the trunk shape if you can get a really interesting shape early and let it grow for a couple of years it'll be really nice if it uh, grows up and to the left these twists in the trunk from the roots will follow it up and to the left and it'll be really nice looking so let's go ahead and dig out a little bit move my coffee do not want it as much as I love coffee I don't want it dirty I've got a little tub to my left and one in front of me that I'm going to try to dump the soil out into just so that I don't have as much of it fall on the floor. I'm going to give it one little shake to get rid of any loose soil. And it was planted in a, in a kind of a, at least the top was dressed with a big particulate matter. So a lot of it is loose. All right. So just a little shake. And we've gotten some of the root uh, exposed. And what I'm going to do as I work around this is show you where the layer was separated. And then hopefully these roots did some cool stuff this, this year. I'm going to dig out some of these weeds while we're at it. And let's see. I really do need to bear root this to, to be able to see everything that I want to see, but I'm gonna try to avoid that. I'm gonna use like a toothbrush and stuff to just look at the trunk. That's all I'm really concerned about here is the very base. So I'm not sure if the angle that you are seeing, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little, is going to be what I imagine the front to be or not but we'll uh that should become more clear as i go so i'm just going to go through here kind of brush off some of this dirt and see what we've got and already what i can tell is that it wasn't what i had imagined which is what happens a lot um what I really imagined, and from this side it looks almost like a, an, an animal, doesn't it? But what I had imagined was, this is the original, right here, it was the original um, trunk and the layer was here. Uh, and when I air layered this portion off, I had imagined this to go up and hook a, um, your left. <laughs> Uh, and have a nice really low movement and I was going to clean that up but as you can see this sprouted a an absolute ton of roots right here I'm not sure if I could cut those and still allow the tree to grow uh, if, if it would die or not you know um, one thing that's really interesting like really interesting is let's see if I can get it to focus here the part that I said was going to go off into the left. You can see if it's focused. I really want you to be able to see this. That there are. Oh my, <laughs> I'm stuck. This is uh, thorns in it, and it's caught on my beanie. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so what you can see is that even now after a season, like right here, going up and right here, just the smallest amounts, but you can see that twisting. Is already begun 
And that makes me wonder if we couldn't do something crazy here and split this tree. I don't know that I would do it or not, but I wonder if we could split the tree right in here and have this one coming out, which is kind of what I wanted, and then have a really low squat tree um, and let it kind of do its own thing and see where it would take us. So I'm gonna turn it around to my side really quick and think about that for just a minute. The problem that we would have if I did something like that is that we would not have um, any roots on where we split the tree. And these grow roots like crazy. I'm not, I wouldn't be super worried about it, but I don't wanna base a whole design off of that assumption that it would. But I'm really, really considering it. Something else that I see that may be a um, lower risk thing to do would be from the side that you guys have been looking at would be to cut and I would, I would probably have to go find my Dremel for this, but I could do it with hand tools, would be to cut um, where this seems to split naturally. This is going this way, this is going this way. Make a big notch here and hope that it heals. Then we'd have this really neat, you know, probably main trunk going off this way. And then we'd have like a, almost like a twin trunk, but it'd be a, um, like a, I don't really know what you call it, a knob at the bottom that we could make something funky off of. We might do that and then let it grow for another couple years. So let me, uh, let me gather up my tools and think about doing that. And also, this one will definitely want to stay in my greenhouse until uh, there's no chance of frost or anything because pomegranates are not as cold tolerant. Now, I've never had any problems with mine leaving them out all year and then, and then you know, in the spring, them budding out. But um, working the roots this early and then putting it back in the ground could harm the tree for sure uh, if, if it got really cold out. So let me take one more good look at it and see if that's what we want to do. I think that would be really neat. I really, <laughs> oops, I really do want to split this into two. I really think that would be awesome. Um, I just don't know if I could, um, I just don't know if that would work or not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to pause this video for just a minute and I am gonna bare root the tree since I can keep it in the greenhouse, it'll be fine. And I wanna look and see what the roots look like and I really, I really want to split this in two. I know it sounds stupid, but I think it, it would be really neat. And I think it would be fine. So I'm going to pause for a minute. I'm going to bare root it so I can see what the roots look like. And I'll be, I'll be right back. 